What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we have got three new booster epics. We've got David Beckham, we've got Makalele and we've got Rozicki. Now listen lads, I before I even look at these players and before I even get into them, I see a lot of people saying, you know, oh, you know, I have to buy this, I have to buy that. I would say that the players that they're releasing now, while they are beastly, there are a lot of other options that you can do, depending on how you want to play as well, you know, so just bear that in mind, right, but we are reviewing these players straight up, so we've got a nice little trailer here, um, just a typical trailer, just shows you a little clip or two, you've got David Beckham on the free kicks, you know it's going to be boosted with the Bexter, and obviously his stats are going to be insane as well, he's always been one of the best kind of rated players in the game, now I feel he's a little bit slow, but we'll get into that as well, in terms of his movement and stuff like that, Stats don't always tell the full story, right? Makalele is probably the pick of him, which we'll get to in a second. Absolute beast. Every card of him I've used so far has been an absolute beast. Um, and this will be no different as a DMF. So uh, we'll get into him in a second. We'll give you like kind of a training guide. We'll talk about some pros and cons. And just kind of like really chat about what these cards can really excel at. Now, this is a more attacking kind of video for Makalele. He's kind of like a box to box, right? Um, Rosicki as well is another instance of having a player that is down as an attacking midfielder, but kind of is able to play as a right sided player or left sided player as well in terms of his breakdown of play and his chance creation. Um, these players have it all, and obviously, with the booster, they drive them on to the next stage as well. So, they are the three players. Just a quick little introduction to them. Um, you can see there, Becca goes to 99, Makalele goes to 98, and Rosicki goes to 96. So let's crack on. All right, so first up, we have Rosicki, right? So Rosicki is one of these players, right, that I do feel is best suited as an out-wide player because he is an attacking midfielder. He's down as a creative playmaker. But if you are attacking from the right or left, or left or right, depending on uh, uh, whichever way you want to attack, I do feel that there is a couple of, like... There is a couple of balances to this card, and in fairness to him, even though these are, you know, typically for cards that they want to obviously make, you know, money off of, um, because people want the best versions of the cards, they are balanced. I mean, we could have seen Max Boosters go, you know, plus five rather than plus two. So he gets the technique plus two. We've seen this before with Messi, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, and low pass. So the Messi version has this booster as well, the exact same booster. We'll get into Makalele in a second, who has a, a, a new booster that we've seen, a unique one. Ball control, dribbling, tight possession, and low pass will all get a boost. So this is why his rating is going to be at level one. Incredible, right? Incredible stats. Now, this is the build I've gone for. We'll just have a quick sneaky look here over on eFootballDB. This is the build I've gone for. So we pop four into shooting, eight into passing, 12 into dribbling, and eight into dexterity, with six into lower body strength, rounding that off, right? So let me talk through this a little bit, right? We've got one touch pass and first time shot. We've also got true passing. Now, I would definitely recommend if you are playing him through the middle as an AMF and outright AMF, I feel like you definitely need to put low lofted pass on. Low lofted pass is an extremely important attack and midfielder stat, especially if the player doesn't have whole player with the positions that a creative playmaker uh, kind of slips into. We'll do a video on that. Don't worry. I know I say I will always do videos, but I will do this video. Um, I have a lot of videos ready to go on the back burner. Cut behind and turn, soul control, chip shot control, knuckle shot, long range shooting. So if you're not shooting with Rosicki, I would say that this is the build for you. Yes, you've got the player skills that, you know, really um, encourage you to shoot. But if you're not a shooting attack on midfielder, if you don't score a lot of goals from long range, if you don't stun and shot, if you don't curl shot, um, you know, then this is kind of the build for you, right? You're very, very high on the dribbling. You're going to be getting a boost to all of that. So your low pass, your dribbling, your tight possession, ball control are all going to be in the 90s. Your acceleration, balance, and offensive awareness will be around the 80, you know, to 85 mark. And then you've also got finishing at 73. Now, if you do finish a lot and you do like to score a lot, you can actually put this down just a little fraction and bring this finishing up to 76. That, with the player skills, once you're over that 75 threshold, will be a difference maker, in my opinion, right? So, yeah, he's a solid player, but there are better players there than him. And I would say he's probably one of the weaker boosters. I know you're getting the boost to the extra stats, but it's not a, you know, shout home about player, in my opinion, right? So, when we talk about Makalele, who we'll do next, this is the guy to get if you want end game DMF, end game midfielder that you literally is first name on the team sheet. I have a video coming very, very soon, it's probably going to go up tonight or tomorrow, about the importance of a DMF, right? And we're going to talk about it and the importance of a destroyer, 
right? So this guy has got a dueling booster and it says that it's a plus two increase to the defensive awareness, tackling speed and stamina player stats. It's activated at all times. So when we activate that by holding R1 or L1 and to turn it off, we can see that we have got defensive awareness at 82, tackling at 88, speed at 77 and stamina at 89, straight off the rip. He's an 86 overall DMF with 31 levels to go. Yes, 31 levels to go, which is extraordinary, right? So the build that we've gone for with Makalele, we haven't finished it off because I wanted to do it in real time. He's actually got some brilliant, brilliant key player skills. But I do feel if you are using Makalele as your main, main guy, I, I do feel you need blocker there, right? I definitely feel you need blocker there. A lot of people will say, you know, Anchorman versus a, a Destroyer, which is better, right? I feel like at the moment, the Destroyers are doing a phenomenal job of just breaking up the play. Anchorman sometimes are a little bit too slow, whereas with Makalele, it all depends on your play style, obviously. I like Makalele to be zipping around, covering spaces, and when I select him, you know, he's fast, he's rapid, he's ready for rock and roll, right? Double touch, one touch pass, low lofted pass are backed up by defensive stats, man marking, interception, sliding tackle, fighting spirit, and I would also throw blocker on him. If you can throw something else on him um, to make him completely OP, like heading or acrobatic clearance or any of those, brilliant. But I definitely feel like blocker is a mainstay for this card. In terms of his stats, once you have his defending up with 10 points into that, I popped 8 into dexterity to bring his acceleration up in line with his speed. His balance and stamina go to 92 each, which is phenomenal, and speed and stamina are also going to be getting the boost. Um, and then the passing, right? Low pass and tight possession are at 80 each. You actually don't need any more stats than this. So anything else that you add on to this, you're going to be getting the boost to defensive awareness and tackling. So you're going to have 98 tackling at this. There's no point going higher with the defending, right? You could go one more if you wanted to, to max out um, his tackling, but then you're not going to get the boost. You know, you're going to be wasting one point here um, for that. And you're actually going to be wasting three progression points. So I would say, depending on your play style, right? And how comfortable you are in possession, if you're very, very comfortable in possession, I would say that you could actually boost up either his dexterity, right? You could bring that up too to bring it in line with his balance, stamina, speed, and acceleration. That means you'll have identical stats across the board with them. And I would also, even though I've popped in six into aerial strength there to have an 83 physical contact, I would probably upgrade his passing just a fraction, right? I know that I've kind of been down on passing a little bit um, since the game has kind of launched and I've said that passing isn't as important as it was uh, in eFootball 2023. But I do feel like with the gameplay at the moment now, you need to be very comfortable in possession to be able to get the ball out from your feet. So anything extra into that, those stats will help. But even at that, he's a 95 rated. Yes, you can go higher with the boost. He's obviously going to go up higher. You can go with a higher build on this guy, but I think this is the best version for just like the general player. Yes, you will be able to make him a little bit better. If you want dedicated training guys where I'll do three different versions that I recommend, let me know. And then last but not least, we have Bex. Now, I am tempted to spin for Bex, lads, but I just don't know where I would fit him into my squad, especially on my main squad where I spend a bit of coins, right? Um, From donations and whatever, right? He's got unbelievable ability on the ball. You can see here that it's free kick taken plus two, same as uh, Nakamura, I think, who we had. Finishing at 81 for a right midfielder. It's a very, very kind of weird build of a player because if this guy could play SS, I would say, yeah, he would be a completely broken SS because he's got good low pass, good tight possession, be able to orchestrate everything. But he's down as a cross specialist. So we kind of are tied in how we're going to train him up. Um, and this is how I've trained him up, right? So he's got brilliant skills. You can see there the player skills. And we've put him as a 98 overall build here. Of course, he's going to get the boost as well. But you've got three into shooting. That's going to get the boost. You've got passing, dribbling, dexterity, and lower body. All very, very high as well. Speed and acceleration are always going to be an issue with this card. Even if you pop 15 into dexterity, you're only going to be at 81 acceleration. So you do have to kind of pass a lot with this guy, which is why we've maxed out his lofted pass here and his curl at 95. He does have um pinpoint crossing low off the pass true passing and one touch pass so you won't have an issue with that he also has early crosser once you have early crosser and pinpoint crosser it's going to be beastly so i definitely feel as a cross specialist there you are going to be able to swing the ball in lads i'm already dreaming if i'm able to get a player like beckham and then get collar eventually when collar does come i mean it would be insane right 
Um, and this is, again, we see Beckham here. Um, this is a 24-year-old Beckham, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he's 24 years of age. So that is it for the Epics. They're also in with these players. You've got Caicedo, who looks to be an absolute demon as well in this box. So it is probably one of the better boxes to spin for. I would be a bit disappointed if I didn't get Makalele or Beckham if I spun and went deep for this. There's 150 players. But let me know what you guys do. Let me know. And if you want individual specific builds for Beckham, Makalele, and Rosicki, let me know. I'll be there. If you'll be there. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Anyway, we'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.